Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. I'm trying out a slightly different recording setup. Hopefully the quality will be quite a bit better. Um, I haven't tried the setup for an actual video since Dwarf Fortress, which, if you haven't seen it, I can't really recommend. But I think I've worked out most of the issues I was having then. And with the new mic, the fan issue shouldn't be a problem. So, hopefully this works out. Ooh, tracks. Old elk tracks leading southwest. I think that's where my fence is, isn't it? Yeah. So it came by this direction at some point. I don't know how old they are, though. They might be older than this part of the fence, actually. Would not be surprised if that was the case. Yeah, it looks like I didn't get them anyway. Oh well. This is one really annoying thing about having a settlement now is when we walk up to it, it doesn't drop us off where we left the map. So I might end up having to clear a path through all this so I can walk straight to the camp rather than navigate through all these trees. Alright, so I think we were getting ready to work on the house again last time we left off. And I forgot a timer, hold on. Like I said, new recording setup, so things are a bit different than I'm used to and I keep forgetting things. This is actually the second time I've had to try to record because the first time I forgot my keyboard. Yeah, that's how off I am doing this today. Too tired. Hunger wakes me. Probably should have thought of that before I crawled into the bed, but oh well. We have quite a bit of dried food. And a lot of spoiled food. And the stag is mostly ready, that's good. So yeah, this is probably going to be another chopping down a bunch of trees episode. Yeah, this new recording setup definitely spikes my CPU use quite a bit. Last time I think we found a nearby town now, didn't we? Or a couple of them. But we didn't find a sage. That's really weird. Normally pretty much every town has a sage. Or a shaman. Shaman? Shaman? I don't know. Whichever the word is, they usually have one. So, we haven't gotten our ritual yet. Our new ritual. So have requests for a catch if we need like an emergency food supply, but that shouldn't be an issue. For right now anyway. We've got plenty of dehydrated meat to work with. I do hope this mic isn't picking up the fan. That would be really annoying. It didn't seem to last episode, but... Yeah. Just because it didn't last time doesn't mean it won't now. Did I get a water skin? I didn't. I 
should probably just wait until night just to get back on like regular schedule because it can be kind of annoying sleeping during the day and eating and waking up at night in real life and in the game I say as I just woke up at 6 to record this at 6 p.m. <laughs> so maybe I'm not one to talk right lots of trees to knock down though I think we had, what, 42 for just a small cabin? So we're probably going to need 60-something, I would guess, for a properly sized cabin. Yeah, this part takes a while. On the plus side, though, cutting down all this wood gives us um, we have room for agriculture once we get a hold of some seeds. And I do plan on eventually getting a hold of some seeds. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't started one of these. Mm, it's a bit late now, I'll worry about it later. But yeah, I kind of forgot about those for <laughs> this character. I'm not too concerned about it right now. But it would be nice to do eventually, if for no if for no other reason than the skill points at the end. Too tired. Okay. Try to haul some of the stuff over. And by the time we haul some of it over, it should be late enough for us to go to bed. <laughs> if not, we'll pass out in the rain, and then the rain will wake us up anyway. Yeah, this is the first time since Dwarf Fortress that I've tried to record a full episode this way. I think I mentioned that already, but... I tested it and it seems to work for short episodes, at least for the, my test episodes, but... We'll have to wait and see, I guess. We still have 190 elk cuts waiting. It's a lot. It's a lot of food. Hmm. So how many is that? Three, six, nine, and I think we hauled three or four over. So, I think we can start working on another wall or two. And you'll probably notice me do this a lot. I try to <coughs> try to push everything into a sort of line above where it's eventually going to be so I can haul it all at once. It's not really the most efficient way to do this, I don't think, but it makes it a little bit faster than just hauling it and dropping everything, then hauling it again. 
and pushing uses less fatigue than hauling does, I think. It seems to anyway. I'm not really sure why, but I'm not going to complain about it. So it lets me move huge piles like this a little bit better than if I just hauled them around. Might be faster to just go one log at a time. Uh, this seems to work. Actually, come to think of it, this recording method should be higher quality too. Not just the frame rate issue, but it should look a bit clearer because it's not compressed as much. And I think my AUG codec is broken. I think I need a new one. Like need to re-download it or something because that seems to be why my other recording method wasn't working. I have clothes, right? Sorta. Am I not wearing a shirt? No, I am. Crude stag for a shirt. Oh, my tunic got wrecked, that's right. So I'm going to make clothes for cloak. Use this 14 pounds of material. These are really fucking heavy, but it should keep us really warm. It doesn't cover as much as the shirt though. I think it's like neck, torso, and maybe upper arms. It's not terrible though. Especially since we had the fur laying around anyway. Yeah, we are not a tailor. But yeah, that helps quite a bit actually. Helps against tearing a lot too. Not so much against most of the other types. Good against blunt. That's kind of weird. to fashion one or two of these into logs before we go to bed. I hope we can anyway. Yeah, we should be able to get one more. And now bedtime. It's still raining. I should probably not be so willing to dig into the dried food since it's the food that will last the longest, but I'm not really that concerned about it. Yeah. We do have quite a bit of food. Actually, before I do that again... Okay, that's still not done. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of repetitive work to build a cabin. Lots of it. How many locks do we have? <coughs> Eight. And then we're going to have to collect a bunch of stones too for the fireplace. Not sure how many we need. I think it's like 30. Maybe 25. Oh, it's worth it to have a cabin up by the beginning of winter though, even if it's a small one. So 
There's not really much reason to use a large cabin now that I think of it. Like, it's mostly just for storage space, I guess. Since all you really need is, like, a fireplace, a table, and... I think that's it. You don't need much in a cabin. Could do with a bed, too. Or a sleeping bunk, whatever they call them. But that's hardly necessary. I'm gonna go check on our traps real quick. Spare tracks we saw last time, I think. Yeah. Is that a hair? Yes. <coughs> Don't see it. Or it's tracks. I can't zoom in. There we go. Come on, game. Catch up. There we go. <coughs> make some loop snares or something. Set them up in the forest to catch small animals more frequently. Our trapping skill is really bad though. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a bit strained. Ooh. They're going northwest. What are the odds I can chase you back this way? Did you turn? Nope. Refresh. Sorry, I shouldn't get that close to the computer. It's gonna make the fan pick up more. dark, I think. Still. If it's going near the... <coughs> if it's going near the traps, we might catch it anyway. I picked up that javelin, I see, with the hair, right? I think so. Yeah, here's where we cleared out. <coughs> Time to go to sleep. So I think I want a door here. So I think for the time being I'll build a Hmm. I don't know if I want a corner here, or if I want a proper southern wall here. I think I want a corner here, and I'll just build a long, like a narrow building here for right now. And I'll expand it later. That seems like a good idea. This will take a while anyway. can worry about getting stones for <coughs> can worry about getting stones for the fireplace later. Take
take a break. We should be able to finish this wall. And we can probably get the door too. Because doors are a lot easier to make than walls are. Which I don't really know if that makes sense. I guess it does. I'm fatigued. And yeah. So now we have two three regular walls and a corner to go. We don't have enough blocks for that, but we can worry about that in a bit. And the door actually comes with its own floor tile, which is kind of odd, but whatever. The fireplace, however, needs floor and ceiling tile built around it, which gets kind of annoying to be honest, but only for larger houses. For something this small it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, I wanted to make Utility cord five and use the rest of the silk fur for it. Fur for it, not fur for it. <laughs> My lazy American accent coming through. Oh, this should all be done by now. Did I not grab it? No, I must have picked it all up. Oh, there we go. So I think it's R and loop snare. And these will be low quality loop snares, but I'm not too concerned about it. I keep saying that. Why do I keep repeating myself in these videos? Last said it was basically, this said it's not too concerned about it, apparently. But yeah, loop snares are pretty easy to make. Drop whatever's left of that for now. So I have 11 logs. It's not even enough for two walls. That's annoying. Um, three. I want to set up those loop snares before I start working on the cabin again. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the doors actually, you can only build them between two sections of wall, which is why the one I set up was I did it after the walls were already placed. I don't, know, I don't want them too close together because doesn't really seem like a good idea to me, but I don't know if it matters for the game. I'll put them over here. Because I can see... yeah, I can see that deep into the woods pretty easily. What I'm doing here is setting up these loop snares that I just made. And they're very easy to set up. Just apply... And there it is. So, 
this will probably not get us a lot of food, but a hair here and there will keep us fed for a bit. Oh, no. Apply loop snare. Fun. There, I can see all of them from here, so. There. I don't really need a lot of traps in any given tile. Oh, for a second I thought I saw something. Guess not. That bear not come back. I don't see him on the world map. And you'd think something as large as a bear would be pretty easy to see up there. I don't know why I call it a world map. It's not even the full world. It's just zoomed out a bit. See those bear tracks right now. Oh well. Like I said, we have quite a bit of food. So I'm not overly worried about it. I think when we get back to camp though, I'm gonna cut the episode. Okay, it's further south. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut it here. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully this worked out pretty well.